At first, I started feeling quite anxious about it. Now, this might sound like something from a horror story, and in my opinion, it is. I'm so confused. Hello fellow traveler of worlds and welcome to another video. In this one I explore what it means to slow down, I explore what it means to make time for life itself. And with that I mean what I want my everyday moments and small things to be and to look like. Because inevitably those are the moments that become the story of my life, the things that look back upon. And life isn't just happiness and love and joy, I know that. But how can I live now in the small moments that will make me feel like that is what dominated my life, no matter what happens in the future? I want those things to be my core, the lighthouse that shines a path for me, no matter how dark it is or how rough the seeds are. So that is the focus of this video and the focus of my life in general right now, so I hope you enjoy. Are we in focus? <laughs> like, the, the same question all the time. Are we in focus? It sounds like the phrase for someone who makes vlogs. Am I in focus? That is totally unrelated to any of this, but <laughs> it just popped up in my head. Good morning, and welcome to another vlog. Vlog. Um, um, healing diary episode. Creative diary episode. Something like that. <laughs> Winter came really early. Did it, but winter came really early this year, which is which is okay, because I'm going on a rant here. Is that annoying? Probably. But here in Norway, when autumn arrives, um, like from the end of August, beginning of September, till the point where it starts being like below zero uh, degrees Celsius, we have this absolutely horrible parasitical bugs that show up in the woods. Now, this might sound like something from a horror story, and in my opinion it is. <laughs> and I do have, you know, quite a tolerance, I think, for insects, but not these guys, because they're like, they aren't specifically after humans. What a way to start a vlog, by the way. Anyway, they, they're not specifically after humans. <laughs> But, but they, um, they're after deers and moose and those kind of animals and they can't see the difference. So when a person shows up in the woods, they also go after the people and they crawl, they have wings, so they fly towards you in like an amount of hundreds, then they land on you, then they lose their wings so they can't fly again and they're stuck on you and they go and they crawl up into your neck and into your hair and is this really gross? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This week is going to be my prompt for this week. I have a prompt. I have a word or like a phrase that I want to keep in mind for this week and that is to slow down. I just, I want to get into this wintry cozy mood. <clears throat> and even though I don't specifically celebrate Christmas, that's just not something that I do anymore, but I still want to get into the cozy feeling of winter and coldness and fireplaces and hot chocolate and just comfort. Because, like I said in the last vlog, my I am on a mission to be kinder to myself so that I can heal. Um, so that I can heal from past experiences and finally claim the life that I, that I want, that I want, something of the sort. So, to be kind to myself this week, I'm going to slow down. I'm going to slow down, just do the things that I enjoy. I have a lot of painting planned, going into the woods, cozy, cozying up. I really want to get back into uh, writing, so writing a novel. Um, so those kind of things. Anyway, I'm going to start this week. Let's see. How it goes, what I'm gonna be up to. I'm not gonna be ambushed by parasitical bugs. At least that's not gonna happen, which is really good. Oh, I need to shut up. A little snippet of the behind the scenes here. I'm so confused. I, I was going to the bathroom and I brought my coffee mug because I wanted to go get more coffee after the bathroom break. 
And now I've lost my coffee mug. <laughs> I, I can't find it. I can't. I, I'm so confused. I have. I put it away. I even checked the bathroom if I put my coffee mug in there, which I didn't. I'm so confused. I had it like three minutes ago. I didn't lose it. I place it exactly where I always place it when I go to the bathroom before I get my coffee mug, which is next to the coffee itself, like the coffee pouring thing. <clears throat> this is what we in Dutch call the kijk with your nose. <laughs> like literally translated, you're looking with your nose. I have a very bad habit of doing that. Anyway, I got my coffee again, I can move on now. Your chewing stick stuck in your mouth. Hmm? Flip. Deck. Oh, good buddy. Good buddy. Bam bam. Hmm? Oh, I realized a few days ago that I've been approaching myself a bit wrong lately. Because I started making these healing diaries quite a while ago, because I finally realized that I have so much more potential within me of what I can become, what I can do, what I create, or the imagination within me, or the creativity, or the beauty I can create and experience. I, there is so much potential within me. And that itself is a, just a beautiful, once again, realization. <laughs> just to feel this this quiet power within me that I can't really tap into it yet, but I know it's there if I approach myself right in the time to come. But that does require that I approach myself right, and I don't think I've done that lately. Because, you know, when you start feeling better, it, it almost, it comes in a bit of a sneaky way. I feel better, so I have a little bit more energy, and so I feel like I can do more. And as soon as I feel like I can do more, automatically the pressure from society enters to, that says like, oh, you have more energy, well then you should create more, you should learn more, you should become more, because you now have more mental space to do these things. And I have, yeah, I've fallen into that trap ever since I started this healing diaries. You know, on days where I'm not feeling well, when I have my nothing days, when I'm lost within myself, then I can completely disregard these feelings. But when I have days where I'm feeling a lot better, I've been falling into the trap of, oh, I'm feeling better, so now I have to do more. But this leads me to what I talked about at the beginning. And that is, I want to experience my own life. I want love and joy to be the heart. I want it to be the lighthouse within me that guides me and shines, shines on my path. Can I say that? That shines my path, illuminates my path. And yes, my passions, my art, my writing, my creations are a part of that. But I don't want them to become a thing that makes me forget the everyday small moments that ultimately sums up my life at the end. I don't want them to become an anchor that makes me forget 
my meals with my partner, the cuddles with my doggies, uh, the walks in the woods, the sunshine on my face when I drink my coffee in the morning. This pressure of having to constantly do things is really, really detrimental. Is that the right word? Detrimental. It's really almost like a toxic belief that we as humans have incorporated into our societal existence. We always have to do things and at the end of the day our own life suffers for it. That is at least my opinion right now. Once we have and acknowledge an emotion, it will often go away on its own. If there is no course of action to take, if all we really need to do is accept it, then we just have to let ourselves be there. So, when I go on walkies with my doggies and my partner and see the beautiful snow, I really, yeah, when I film this, I really try to take it all in, because this is my life, these small moments of wagging tails and smiles on my love, loved ones' faces, that is my life. Let me put you on a tripod here. Good morning. <laughs> Let's see. Should I just film like this? Would that be entertaining? <laughs> I feel like I look like half a thumb with a face on it. <laughs> I should make a meme of myself. Don't, don't make a meme of my face, please. Who would do that anyway? Well, people do it. Well, the, what even? What am I talking about? You know, these are the kind of strange conversations I have in my head, apparently. Making a meme of myself. You're also getting the most beautiful view of my oh, somewhat living room, apparently. Perfect, we're all natural today. <laughs> is this better? Uh, the lighting is making me look very potato-y. Not that I care, but I do care, because let's face it, everyone cares how they look like on camera at some point. Apparently I'm a bit self-conscious today. I don't feel my, my best, but it'll it'll have to do. Uh, where were we? What was I gonna say? A lot of things, I think. We are on Wednesday. <laughs> That's where we are. Uh, and, and, yesterday I filmed a little bit, but I was really tired. I was really, really exhausted. And at first I started feeling quite anxious about it. I got quite stressed about it because I thought, oh my goodness, I'm feeling this and now I can't accomplish anything. <laughs> the usual story, can't accomplish anything. Then I remembered that my prompt for this week is to slow down. And so that's kind of what I did. I slowed down with like the achievement mindset. Instead, I was like, okay, I'm tired. What can I do when I'm tired without becoming more anxious? And the first thing that went was the creative part. Um, and then I just sat for a long while, sipping coffee, just staring out the window, which was actually really lovely. It was really lovely to just drink coffee and stare out the window and not be on any screens, not being on any phones, not talking to anyone not watching anything, um, and then I did some chores, I did housework, and that felt really good. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, but it did, because I, I have discovered that I love having a tidy home. <laughs> Finally, at almost 26 years old, I have now realized I love having a tidy home, because it declutters my mind to have a tidy home. Deep breaths. I'm gonna try and make a painting with this as inspiration, not upside down, that, that, yeah, like that, and um, I'm gonna bring you along. I'm not sure if I'm gonna manage to finish it in this vlog, because it's always, uh, blah, 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 blah. slow down, I need to slow down, slow down, <sighs> sorry, um, 
Because it's already Wednesday and I think the last day I film for this vlog is tomorrow because I need a couple of days off for other stuff. Um, and now Bam Bam is waking up, so... <laughs> hey buddy! Oh, you, hello! Oh, yeah, thank you, thank you. Hey cutie! Yeah, you gonna say hi? No. No, we're not there yet. But he just woke up from his morning nap, which means before I can do anything else, playtime. <laughs> playtime. Yeah. Ironically, I feel like this is something that you might already know in every way and I'm just kind of behind, but that might also be just my ego who wants me to feel bad and feel slow when it comes to my own development of mind, my own development as a being, because I have lived in such a narrow-minded brain <laughs> up until I was at least, I would say, 22 years old, like I was swept up in myself but not in a good way and I'm expanding my experience of life I'm expanding my understanding I am expanding my experiences and so all these epiphanies that I'm having you might have had long ago <laughs> you know um, but even if you knew these things I just you know maybe this is still just a good time to say Remember the small moments. Remember everyday life. That is what will ultimately sum up your life. Um, remember that perfect sip of coffee in the morning with your face in the sun. Remember that beautiful um, flower when you walked out the door and it was just like staring right in your face, showing you, hey, life is beautiful. Please acknowledge me. You need to remember this because there is so much beauty around us and it is it is hard to see at least i think it is it is kind of hard to find um because we are am being ambushed by so much drama by so much traumatic events happening in society in the world you know um but that makes it so much more important that we personally manage to see the beauty in the small things to enjoy the everyday moments that are good I'm gonna wrap it up here for today and I just hope that this video could bring a little smile to your face or just the tiniest reminder to be happy, to be grateful for something small that happened or happens today and if not today then perhaps tomorrow. I will not be posting anything next Sunday because my batteries, my creative batteries are quite drained but uh, the week after that I will be back and I will use this quiet time to yeah, film some extra stuff for you and just be excited about the time that is to come and the creative juices that will hopefully be flowing through the new year. <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. And please take the time to slow down, to look after yourself, to do things that bring you peace and joy and love that is not backed by any pressure or to-do lists or anything. Just enjoy life as it is. I hope you managed to do that. And yeah, I will not see you next Sunday, but I will see you next Sunday after that. So stay tuned for that. I invite you to like and subscribe. It would mean the world if you do. Yeah. So all my love and light to you all. And I will see you very, very soon.